So hello everyone, happy Saturday. It's a new week of vlogs. And this weekend, we're doing a whole lot of nothing. So last weekend was wild, last week was wild. I got all three grants submitted, they are done. We had a wild weekend, so this weekend I am sitting at home, relaxing, recovering from that weekend. I've got fun stuff coming up this next week, which I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna vlog. It's probably gonna be a shorter weekly vlog because there's fun stuff happening at the end of the week, but we'll get there, we'll get there. But right now, I'm getting ready to veg out some movies that I've been wanting to see that I saw popping up on Hulu. Disney Plus and Amazon Prime. So I think today is going to be a lounge and movie day. So happy Saturday. We are starting the day, or at least we're starting the vlog, <laughs> with science. Now it's not my intention to do for science every single weekend. However, I feel like right now we're having an influx of new items because I feel like 2020, 2021, a lot of companies weren't doing this kind of thing. We're halting production and having production issues and there's still production issues out there, but I feel like all these companies are bouncing back and they're like, we have all these ideas. We're gonna do them all right now. So I just keep seeing a ton of new things in the stores. So the first two items are ones that I've been waiting to see because I heard them announced and Publix finally got them. So we've got Coffee Crunch Oreos and the ultimate chocolate cream Oreos. This one has three layers of chocolate and Mike loves Heath Bars, so I feel like this one has the potential to be one of his favorites. So starting the weekend with science, we also have some M&Ms and some Pop-Tarts over there to try. So we have, I had to. I saw them and I had to. The other two were too good. I feel like this one is going to be a failure. <laughs> but the other two were too good, so had to go for it and then yesterday I went to Publix looking for Super Bowl stuff and I found these they're Valentine's Day M&Ms they are black forest cake black forest cake M&Ms so that's what we have on the docket today let's get my uh, my lovely partner in the room and try some treats for science okay first of all I just pulled these out look how yellow it is it is neon yellow. So the first one's in the toaster. This one we're gonna do room temperature. So I guess we can go ahead and do this one while we're waiting. I'm getting dirty snow vibes and it's just not cool. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. He's really not wrong. Not digging it. <laughs> All right, let's try the room temperature one while the uh, other like one. Like a really fake fast food egg. Oh. <laughs> The other one is toasting, so. Oh, I smell the maple. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna, it's, my prediction, it's gonna taste like a Yankee candle, just like the other maple thing we had. It's just gonna mm. taste like a candle. Here mm. we go. Not as bad as I was expecting. Wait. Mm, the go flavor. Mm. The actual waffle flavor comes in pretty late. That's a no for me, dog. Mm -mm. I just get really cheap syrup flavor. You're actually getting some waffle in there? I get cheap syrup, and then I get the, there's a distinct flavor that Eggo waffles have. That it is Eggo waffle batter, which is like a mealy, like. Yeah, Eggo waffles are not. They're good for if you're in a rush and you just pop something in the toaster oven, but they're definitely nothing resembling an actual waffle. Or like if you've ever overly soaked one, it's like that's cooked it, and like it's just mashed into like a ball of like. That's what I feel like I'm eating. It's just a very mushy, syrup-filled mm -hmm. Eggo waffle. We'll see if it's better if it's hot. There's a chance. Oh, the smell. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> the smell. For you two, this would be like third degree burns on your tongue right Let's now. Let's do it. At least then I won't be able to taste it. Oh God, oh God. Woo. I'll be waiting for a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's see? I mean, I can do it, but I'm not going to. Smell it. I don't, 
understand what that smell is. I guess it's just the icing, the the burning icing. Like it vaguely smells like cardboard. <laughs> That's it. Like it doesn't. It smells like a paper product. It doesn't smell like food. <clears throat> well, I mean, <laughs> it's borderline. I mean, it's true. Oh my God, that's what it makes. It smells like. It smells like paper pulp. Like, I, used to, I used to live over the print shop. That's what it is. It's pulped like pulped paper that they're gonna take for recycling. <laughs> oh my gosh. And <laughs> I oh, can't eat it. <laughs> oh, I'm so off put now. Mm. Okay. I'm playing the uh, pop tart flute. Are you? Look at that delicious, delicious <laughs> maple quality that it has going on there. Mmm. <laughs> Fresh out of the tree. <laughs> yep, they just went straight to the tree and we're like, fill this pop tart. All right, ready? I think I can take a tiny bite now. Mm -hmm. All right. Cheers. Reluctant cheers. It tastes better. It's better hot. It is better hot. It's not good, but it's better. It's edible, hot. I don't think it's edible at room temperature. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not as offensive hot, but it's nowhere near one I would recommend to buy. <laughs> so what would you rate it out of five? Maybe a two, one and a half. Like, I, I, I don't want to go with one unless I have to spit it out. I would say a two, but it's not anywhere. It's not hot, it's not oppressive. Like, I can definitely give it a two hot. Not hot, it's a one. I think. I don't think I would want to, like, I would refuse eating it. I would agree. I would agree. That is a will not purchase again. Do not recommend. Let's do M&M's first. They are in cute little Valentine's Day colors. I don't know why that one's so big. <laughs> that one's monster. I don't know. Is it only these are Black Forest and like the rest are like regular? Or no, is it's it? all Black Forest. Oh, I didn't buy it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is good. Nice dark chocolate. That's very good. We both love cherry though, so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Two thumbs up. Probably still a four though. I would give it a four out of five as well. I think it's one of the best flavored MMs we've had in a long time. Most mm -hmm. of the time they're a dud. Toffee or ultimate chocolate? Let's do ultimate chocolate first. Ultimate chocolate, okay. <laughs> Uh, all my double stuff people, this is the Oreo for That us. was my initial reaction. <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, double stuff, let me find a good one. Look, it's got three layers of chocolate, so lots and lots of stuffing for those of us that are blurry. Those of us who are team double stuff. Nope. <laughs> so what does it claim? It's just ultimate chocolate, so it looks like a chocolate layer cake is what they're... They're saying. It smells, it smells very, like chocolate. Yeah, it smells very chocolatey. These need milk. These are gonna be so good dipped in milk. This is also another one that's very rich. <laughs> like mm -hmm. two at a time max. They are very decadent. Well, they're almost 100 calories each, yeah, so. I saw that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 90 calories a piece. They're one of the highest <laughs> calorie Oreos. Three. Same. I would not get them again. I think they're gonna be delicious with milk, but I would not get them again. But I don't think there's any, to me there's no difference other than having, it would be a double stuffed just chocolate cream Oreo. It's the same, I don't think there's any flavor wise. I don't think it, I, I feel. agree. This is the one I'm more intrigued by. It is still double stuffed, so. Sorry, but, oh, mine's, what? <laughs> Mine got put together wrong. Oh, the upside down cookie? <laughs> Yeah, you never gotten those On before? both sides. <laughs> I've gotten those before. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, cheers, Mike loves toffee. Let's see. Smells Ooh. like toffee. Mm -hmm. It was very mild, it's the opposite of the other one. It's the same way I feel about toffee creamer for coffee. Like, most of what makes toffee delicious is like that crunch, kind of like, think of like a Heath bar, right? Mm -hmm. Toffee is a cream. It doesn't have the right texture. And they tried to put little sugar crystals in it to make it a little crunchy. Mm -hmm. I don't really get them though. I got like one where mm. I felt it. Mm -mm. It just doesn't have enough. Mm. I agree, it just doesn't. 
and I was expecting more of like a, even if it was a cream, I was expecting more of a Heath flavor to it, mm -hmm. a real strong toffee flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's very mild. It doesn't really have that much flavor. I mean, to I it. can tell it's toffee, but it's. I don't know that I would be able to, if you blindfolded me and didn't tell me what flavor this was. You would be like generic maple syrupy yeah. kind of thing. I would have been like mm, maple. Something, some kind of sweet maple. Mm -hmm. I could see that. I, I would give those a two, actually. Probably in the two range for me, yeah. Yeah, bummer. Mostly out of disappointment, yes. I actually like the chocolate ones better. I'm surprised. I really thought I was going to like the toffee ones much better than the chocolate ones, but. I mean, they're fine. They're not. But I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. I think the M&Ms were my favorite thing of the day. Not the Eggos. Definitely not the Eggos. <laughs> but uh, I think the M&Ms are the clear winner here. And the other not, ones. Not a lot of competition today. Yeah, no. Not our best day. But they can't all be winners, right? So we'll stick to our marshmallow Oreos and our s'mores Pop-Tarts, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fluffer's really upset. That we did the for science without him. He really wanted to participate. He's very upset about it, very mad about it, supervising from over there. Uh oh, nope, nope, he's coming closer. Goodbye, I'm done with you, I'm going outside. See ya. Bye, Ash. Colby was already out there. <laughs> like, I'm out, I'm angry. We picked up Ty for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the Mosman beef curry. Mike got chicken pad thai. And then we got some honey lemongrass chicken to try. This is one of their specialties. We want to try it out. So that is dinner tonight. So hello everyone. Happy Sunday. We're having a nice lazy Sunday over here. Turn on Netflix. I've got my cuddle bean over here. These two came running in to hang out with me. Okay, so I'm gonna do some editing. And I'm going to watch the final episode of the current section of Love is Blind 2. Very exciting. It was like the first time, like, the guys were seeing all the women, and we were seeing all the guys, and we were all sitting together, and. Is that your hedgie? <laughs> I had a feeling. Yeah. Not my hedgie. It's off limits. Okay, so I watched this. If you enjoy true crime documentaries, highly recommend it. It was very good. It's just like one long movie. It's not episodes. Very good. Highly recommend it. Now I gotta find something else to watch because uh, we're Super Bowls tonight. We're gonna have a little, little mini Super Bowl party here, but gotta find something to watch in the meantime. And now we've got the pregame on, which is the Puppy Bowl. Foster needs his bandana. He's got a Puppy Bowl bandana, don't you? Get you in costume. Watching the Puppy Bowl. Oh, Hi, Benny. Oh, Glaze, you're adorable. You guys ready to play? You want to be part of the Puppy Bowl? Yeah, play along. Puppy Bowl at home. I'm just gonna play with this hedgie. It's, got, it's a football. It counts. All right, Foster, let's show them. You're on team, you're on team Fluff. You're on team Fluff. We gotta root for team Fluff, okay? So you say, go Big Blue! Go Big Blue! <laughs> yeah, you're on Team Blue. I know what you want, but guess what? You've got an hour and 10 minutes. You've got an hour and 10 minutes before it's dinner time. It's a long time to wait. We've already been OUT. You just have to wait. You have to watch the puppy bowl and wait. You can rough house. I'm pretty sure Colby's team rough. So you could rough house with him. <laughs> nom nom nom. I'll just get this hedgy. You're on Snoop Dogg's team. Snoop Dogg is your coach. You could have had Martha Stewart, but you got Snoop Dogg. I feel like you got the cooler coach. I don't care about this. This is not a discussion about food. All I care about is food. Bean, it's 3.56 p.m. 3.56 p.m. You know what time that's not? It's not dinner time. Well, it's Super Bowl time, which means I need to get into the kitchen. Oh, hello. Hello. You are so blurry. Hi. 
Oh, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Boop. Boop. What's up? I'm going. Oh, 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 boy. You. <laughs> I'm going in the kitchen to make us some food. Foster's just gonna run away with the blanket. <laughs> the double stretch, very, oh, very, very synchronized. Very nice, boys. Round one of Super Bowl foods. We've got some pimento cheese bites from Publix. Little puffs with pimento cheese and caramelized onions. Got some dip and some chips. We're gonna have some frozen pizza. Very fancy today. Halftime show time. Take me back to the 90s hip hop, let's go. Dr. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, it's your coach. Yeah. You don't seem amused, but I am. All right. No shame, <laughs> loving this. Oh boy. I like it, super thing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Bean is not amused by this halftime show. <laughs> Mary J. Blige, <laughs> yes. I feel like Eminem looks better now than he did in the 90s. <laughs> like, he's had a glow up for sure. Uh, excuse me? Who knew Dr. Dre could play piano? Because I didn't. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. All right, was not expecting that one. That was the end though. Was it the end though? I thought it was really good. So definitely one of the best halftime shows of recent years. I just feel like the ending needed some more oomph. There was no like finale, like they all came together, but it wasn't finale enough, you know? Needed a punch at the end. Some comments so far. Halftime just happened, obviously. The commercials, I feel like, have been pretty good this year, especially in comparison to previous years. Like, I feel like this has been, there's been a few that have made me laugh out loud. So, I've appreciated that. My favorite one so far. Oh, I don't know if it was good marketing, if I can't remember what it was for. <laughs> Maybe not the best marketing. It was an electric car of some, oh, it's BMW. BMW's electric car with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it had little baby Pegasus. That's my favorite commercial from the first half. I love the little baby Pegasus and it was a really funny commercial. So there's been a handful that have made me laugh. So I appreciate that. I appreciate actually getting some laughs this year. I feel like last year's commercials were terrible. That's been good. We have no skin in the game. So we're just like, yeah, go team for either side. Don't really care who wins. Um, halftime show, definitely one of the best in recent years. <laughs> Pretty much everyone I know that's my age group is freaking out on Twitter right now. Loving it, and I thought it was excellent. So now they're kicking off, starting the second half. Okay, that Guy Fieri commercial just got me. That made me LOL. That was, that was good. So hello everyone, happy Monday. I am out at Target. It is Valentine's Day, but I am out to finally have my celebration for submitting the three grants. That's how I'm starting my morning, a little trip into Target to shop. I realized when I left the house, I forgot all my rings, <laughs> so I have no jewelry on but uh, forgot earrings, forgot jewelry of all kinds. So, whoops. Going into Target just to browse and enjoy a nice little trip in because I haven't been since early December when I did stocking stuffers. So, just wanna browse. I have a couple items on my list that I need that I can only get at Target that I can't find at Publix. And then I have to go back and do a bunch of work because I'm not working Thursday or Friday because Sammy's here from Scotland and so I took those two days flexing my hours which means I have to work a lot today tomorrow and Wednesday in order to flex my hours for Thursday Friday. Cold caramel cold brew yes please. Well I'm out of Target. It was it was a pretty big bust as far as anything I wanted. I did get a replacement purse because the purse I've been carrying around, I love crossbodies and the one I have is on its last legs. <laughs> like it's looking really ratty and then if you see that strap, that's because during our fall trip, the zipper 
that went with the bag fell off at some point. So I had to take my <laughs> strap from one of my other little camera bags and I've been using that. But it's falling apart. So I got another little crossbody to replace this one. And otherwise I think I got groceries and toothpaste, <laughs> like toothbrush replacement heads. Real exciting. Um, but I did get my Starbucks, which is delicious. Loving that. I'd gotten it in the past and I didn't think it was very good, but this one's very tasty. But I have to say, I think one of the saddest parts of getting older is realizing you are no longer the target audience. And I did not mean that as a pun. I meant the target audience for anywhere, not just the literal target audience. <laughs> but I guess I'm literally not the target audience at the moment. I am, in fact, that they're marketing to me for decor, but the clothing at Target is 100% no longer marketed to me, and it made me sad, and it makes me sad, because Target was always my favorite. I loved going to Target. Up until they switched their brands to these current brands, it was my favorite place to go and shop. I would go and find so many items. And even if I didn't end up buying them, I loved going to Target and trying on clothes and seeing what was new, especially when their brands were Exhilaration and Morona. And there was another one that was really big at Target. And once they got rid of those brands, it's been, it's been real tough. I know the one particular brand is definitely marketed to Gen Z. And I can understand that. I know that teens, especially young teen girls, spend a ton of money shopping. So I understand that they would want to market to them, but I just can't believe that they've kind of left the millennials out to dry because I feel like all of us are the ones that are emotionally attached to Target from growing up with it, having it marketed to us for our entire youth and our 20s. And now in my 30s, I feel like I go in and I can't find anything. Every once in a while, I'll find something in Universal Threads that I like, and I do like their shorts from time to time. The A New Day brand is marketed toward millennials, I believe, but it's work clothes, and even when I was working in an office, I didn't really like any of it. I never felt like it was my style. And then they've got the, I think it's Knox Rose, brand that isn't my style at all. I never find anything in that brand. So it's just disappointing. And I don't know if it'll ever change, but it's just so sad to like walk through Target and never have anything to try on anymore. I used to go in and have so many items. I'd just be carrying like racks of clothes on my arms to go try on. And it was such a fun experience. It was my favorite store. It was also affordable. And I guess it's a rite of passage to be turning old and not have anything marketed to you anymore. I'm not trying to dress like I'm 18, but I'd like to still have some trendy items that I can wear. But that one section that's clearly marketed toward the 18 year olds is all way too trendy. It was full of 70s stuff right now. So I guess that's what Gen Z is going to be wearing next is all 70s. 70s prints and 70s colors but anyway that was my thought while walking through it was very sad I guess that's why I haven't been here in two months because there's really no need to come unless it's the holidays <sighs> sad getting older is sad I don't like it I didn't expect I didn't expect this kind of thing to be hitting but I guess that's your that's your 30s for you okay so this is my super exciting target haul I need toothpaste. I needed replacement brushes for my electric toothbrush. These are my favorite little pimple patches. Highly recommend them if you haven't tried them. Um, if you're like me and get like really cystic acne, these have helped so much. I just put them on when I go to bed and it absorbs so much of the moisture out of them. Big help. This is my only fun item. The purse I got, little crossbody. It's got like a nice little center section plus two full zipper pockets, so I like that a lot. It was $30. That's gonna be my new bag. I got some sushi I was intending to eat for lunch, but I think I'm gonna save it and have it for lunch tomorrow because now I've had my coffee and I'm like, hmm, coffee and sushi together, not so much. Mo's on his way, which means I need to get prepped for him because he's coming straight for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, 
Mo, what the heck? Okay, I paused them real quick so I could finish my haul and then put the chairs up. Target had the habanero Tostitos that we loved. Publix had them for one week and then I could never find them again. Target had them, so I got two bags of those. They had some special Oreo birthday cookies, chocolate confetti cake. So we've got a bunch of Oreos in the pantry right now from our last for science. So we'll for science these sometime in the future, but it's gonna be a while because we've got a lot of Oreos to work through first and neither one of us love those Oreos. So I feel like they're gonna be in there for a while. So someday we will for science these, but it's gonna be a bit. One of you in my wellness journey suggested I try protein shakes and I tried keto version ones and they did not agree with my stomach, but these are different. I mean, technically the Quest ones are keto friendly, but the ones I tried had MCT oil and the MCT oil did not go well with my stomach. So I'm gonna try these. I like Quest products, so I got their vanilla and one of you said Premier Protein, the salted caramel was your favorite, so I figured I'd try that out. This is trying to get more protein in my diet uh, since we're doing so many vegetarian items. Uh, just trying to get some more protein. So 160, 30 grams of protein. I figure if I don't like them, then Mike will drink them because he, he has commonly purchased these kind of things before for after a hockey game. So I figure if I don't like them, Mike will, Mike will drink them. So we shall see how I feel about them. I might also just get some protein powder. They had Quest protein powder and I might try that out, but that was all I got from Target. That was it. That was my exciting, exciting Target haul. Pretty sad, mostly groceries. Okay, well, I'm at my desk. I had a meeting and now I'm going to spend the time to do my planner for the week, get everything planned out. Today is, I think, going to be our last cold day because we're going back up into the 70s for the near future and we're getting close to March. So I suspect today is probably our last cold day. It's currently 64 degrees, which is the high today. This was my choice for my possible last sweater of 2022, or at least this part of 2022. Hopefully this fall will be cold in this December, fingers crossed. But I'm guessing today is the last cold day of the winter. Sammy's visit's definitely gonna be shorts weather. So we shall see, but before I do anything else, I need to do my planner, get this all organized for the week, Whoop, whipped my hair around, and then do a bunch of work this afternoon. All right, so I'm starting Jacqueline's vlog. Jacqueline's vlog is gonna play in the background while I do my planner. If you aren't already subscribed to Jacqueline, you should. Hey guys, welcome to the weekly vlog. Yay. Happy Monday. Here's the spread for this week. I felt like this little cherry cola theme was fitting for Valentine's Day, which is today. It was a mini kit, so this is all the stickers in the mini kit, aside from a couple of these kinds of things. And let's not, let's not judge me there because I didn't think ahead and I definitely did not go straight on those. But everything else I think looks really cute. I also accidentally ordered the horizontal stickers, which is why they're a little different than normal because I ordered horizontal kit stickers. So that's my bad, but now I'm gonna fill it out and get my work plan all set up for the week and get going. It's time for dinner and this is what Mike chose for the night. We're having baharat spiced couscous salad from a green chef. I think we've had this one before. Oh, wow. Ash was like, you will not sneak up on mom. You no. will not. No. This is all blurry. The camera is having struggles. Excuse me? Is dad messing with you? <laughs> You're a very confusing dog. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I, I got nothing to, I got, I got nothing. What? <laughs> Just, you know, our elderly dog. I want to, yes, this way, follow me. I am Lassie. I guess, or he just wants to go, I don't know. Well. <laughs> yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't 
wanna fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best And there's the finished product. Our Valentine's Day dinner. Happy Valentine's Day. Dinner was delicious, and now I'm catching up on Celebrity Big Brother from last night, because they aired an episode during the Super Bowl. Why? I don't know. But I'm catching up. Well, that episode of Celebrity Big Brother was terrible. <laughs> I watched tonight's. <sighs> I guess they're just going to let Misha win. They're just going to hand her the win. Darn you, Carson, why did you believe them? Why? Now I've got some popcorn, and I think we're gonna watch another Boba Fett episode, because we watched episode three sometime last week. So now, episode four. So happy Tuesday. I just worked out, had my shower, and now I'm making Leonard. Foster's upset about it. I have three Green Chef meals to make. Well, I made one last night, and so I have two left and then Sammy's gonna be here. So I'm making this for lunch today because today is possibly some new Destiny story because next week is the big game release, the new expansion. So I'm making this for our dinner and then we're gonna have like a light dinner later. So I'm making blistered tomato and feta cavatappi for lunch. And there's the finished product. Our dinner. Oh no! Oh no, not the foster ghost. There's a foster ghost. Hello? Hello, sir? <laughs> foster? Come here, Foster. Foster, come here. Foster. Oh, you escaped. Look at you. <laughs> Silly goose. <laughs> Silly goose. No, there's nothing up here for you. <laughs> So hello everyone, it is, I'm about to say Friday evening, nope, it's definitely not Friday evening, it is Tuesday evening. I've been working a ton, trying to get ahead for Thursday, Friday, when Sammy's here, and Brittany, Jordan, and I are jumping on Destiny tonight because new content, because next week is the release, so, so today is like the final ending of the story for this past season prepping for next week, which is the new season, the new expansion, everything. I am planning to stream Destiny tonight, but I think I'm going to let us go through that early stuff together and then I'll start streaming once I'm kind of doing my own thing or if they want to join me to do my own thing, but I'm just going to enjoy the bestie time. That is my evening plan, so since I already made dinner earlier, uh, I'm going to have the sushi that I got at Target yesterday as my dinner at some point this evening. Once the blind well is prepared, the ritual to exercise Sabathun's worm will begin. Oh boy. Oh. 
Oh gosh. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's all coming together. Oh, oh. Your family is tenacious, if nothing else. No more than yours. My brother spent years suffering punishment for the path you made him walk. Finally, justice finds its mark. Let this be the end of it. Well, it's dinner time and I'm having my sushi with a little bit of the Abuja snack mix. And that's my dinner tonight. Hey guys, it is Wednesday afternoon. I'm taking a work break. So I did all my packing this morning. That is all complete. I just have to pack my toiletries and that kind of stuff. I am staying two nights with Sammy at Cabana Bay. So I've got everything set up to do that. But I told you that I have exciting news to share. And the exciting news to share is that I got my invite today to become a Twitch affiliate. So thank you to everyone who has joined one of my Destiny streams, one of my Animal Crossing streams, or for some of you who have been there for every single one or almost every single one. Uh, thank you very much for supporting my new little venture on the side, Twitch, because uh, I would never have been able to reach affiliate within my first month of streaming if it weren't for you guys. And I know the majority of people who have been watching my streams are coming from YouTube. I've had a couple people join in that were Animal Crossing fans or Destiny fans that have found my stream and joined because they like the content. But the majority of people watching are you guys so thank you very much for hanging out and helping me get to affiliate i'm going through the process and getting that all set up now i think by sunday which is when i'm planning to do my next stream i think i should be affiliate by then just depends on how long it takes for them to get the tax information because if you aren't familiar how twitch works twitch affiliate is like the first step toward eventually becoming a partner which i don't know if i'll ever make partner and i'm not really quite sure what what partner means <laughs> because uh, that's usually much larger Twitch streams than what I'm watching. The affiliate level is kind of the same level I am on YouTube. I believe they can play ads on my videos and maybe I get a cut of those ads whereas before I wouldn't have uh, but now I get a cut of those videos just like on YouTube if you watch the ads on my videos I get a small little portion of that. The difference between Twitch and YouTube is that you can have subscribers and set up rewards for subscribers and if you have Amazon Prime you can subscribe to your favorite Twitch streamer and that's included with your Amazon Prime. So I use mine to subscribe to our friend Steve. Our friend Steve has a Twitch stream and so I use my Amazon Prime to go to him and then I have a couple other streamers that I am subscribed to that I just pay a monthly subscription so but it's not behind a paywall or anything you can continue to watch Twitch as much as you want for free there's a subscription option to support the creators who are creating the content and streaming and once you hit affiliate status you can have subscribers so prior to this moment I couldn't have subscribers but uh Thanks to you guys, I was able to earn it within the first month, so that was very exciting. We'll see how that goes. So I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm enjoying hanging out with you guys. It's fun to have conversations one-on-one. -on -one. Like obviously I talk to you guys in the comments section, 
but it's fun to talk in real time. And I know it's harder for me to have those conversations during Destiny because I have to stay focused on the game and can only like take breaks to look over. Obviously in Animal Crossing we have a lot of fun hanging out and having full on chats off topic about anything we want. Uh, I obviously have no plans of leaving YouTube. Obviously this channel is going to continue. Obviously the weekly vlogs are going to continue and everything. But if you're someone who really likes the weekly vlogs and like seeing what's going on in our life, you would probably like hanging out on Twitch with us. And it's been fun kind of having conversations with everyone, especially in the Animal Crossing ones. So if you're not a video game player and you're like, I don't play Animal Crossing, I don't play Destiny, it's an excuse to hang out and chat and have conversations about everything. So with that, I need to get back into work, get a bunch more work done for the day, and then I need to edit the wellness vlog for Friday because it's already Wednesday. Okay, tonight's dinner is going to be veggie and bean stuffed peppers. We've had these before and they were delicious. They sent us the wrong sauce. It was supposed to be a chimichurri and we got a lemon basil caper sauce, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious anyway. So we'll roll with it. And there is dinner, our stuffed pepper, some rice with roasted tomatoes and the extra pepper filling on the side. Should be delicious. Sammy's here and she's getting the toy parade. The toy parade. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, Colby's so excited. <laughs> we got Zaxby's. Our first ever Zaxby's. Zaxby's. They, they didn't beach it quite as much as they did. No. <laughs> this is gonna end. This is gonna end the weekly vlog because Sammy and I are going away. Colby's tuckered out now. Finally, it was pretty wild there for a while, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He's a wild man. <laughs> and one of them tried to kill me. Oh yes. Just so. I did not. I did not think to warn her that they're very gassy. <laughs> At least Colby and Foster are very gassy boys. Yes, almost died. Yes, they tried to kill her. They really enjoyed having her here. And now yeah. Colby's gonna miss you, but we're, we've gotta go to Cabana Bay. Wait. It's time. Yeah. So with that, I am signing off, but I will see you guys again next week.